In this lecture, we are going to learn about the custom property binding of directive properties. Let's go to VS Code. And in here, we are going to work with this set background directive. So using this directive, what we are doing is we are basically setting the background color and the text color of the host element. So on whichever HTML element or component, we will use this directive. That component or that HTML element will be the host element. And we are basically setting the background color of that host element and the text color of that host element. Now here, the value for this background color and this text color property is hard coded. So background color is going to be gray and the text color is going to be yellow. But instead of hard coding these values, what we want is we want users to provide values for these properties and the value which the user will provide that will be used as the background color and the text color. For that, the first thing which we need to do is we need to create two properties. So I'm going to create a property called back color. You can name it anything. It is going to be of type string. And initially I will provide it with a default value and the default value I'm going to use is this one. In the same way, let me also go ahead and let me create a text color property. And this text color is also going to be of type string. And again, initially for this also, I will provide a default value, let's say white. Okay. And now here, instead of using these hard coded values, what we are going to do is we are going to use these properties. So in here, I will use the background property. So I'll say this dot back color. And instead of using this hard coded value yellow here, I will use this dot text color. And we are using this set background directive in the product detail component. So if I go to the product detail component HTML file in there, we are using that directive on one of the spans. All right. So here we are using the set background directive on these three spans. So if you go to the web page and if I open the details of any one of these products, you will notice that for those spans, the background color is still there and the text color is now white. Earlier it was yellow. Okay. So this implementation where we have created a property for the directive and then we are using it. That is also working. Now what we can do is we can make these properties as input properties. And when we make these properties as input properties from the component where we are using the directive from there, we can pass some values for these properties. So for example, let's go ahead and let's decorate these properties with input decorator. And in order to use this input decorator, we also need to import it from angular slash go. Okay. Let's also decorate this text color with this input decorator. And since we have made these properties as input properties, now we can bind these properties in the component. So we are using this set background color on this span element and this HTML here, it is basically the view template for product detail component. So here, when we are using this set background directive, the set background is the selector for this set background directive. And inside this set background, we have two input properties, back color and text color. So since we have used this set background on this span element, on this span element, we can go ahead and we can bind those directive properties. For example, here I can go ahead and I can bind back color. Okay. And here I can specify some TypeScript expression within these double quotes. Or I can also specify some string value by using a set of single quotes in between these double quotes. So let's say I want to set the background color to maybe red. So if I save the changes, if I go to the web page now, and now if I open the details of any one of these products, you will notice that for that first span, the background color has changed to red. In the same way, if I want, I can also set the text color. So we have a text color property in our directive. I can go ahead and I can bind that text color. And here also I'm going to specify a string value for that inside these double quotes. I can write a set of single quotes and in there I can specify some value, maybe yellow. So if I save the changes, if I go back to the web page and if I open any one of these products, now you will see that the text color there is yellow. Okay. But instead of setting it yellow, I'll keep it as white. Or if I don't specify the text color here for this pen, then by default, we are setting its value to white. So that will be used in the same way. 
let me also go ahead and let me bind this back color property and text color property on other two spans. So let's go ahead and let's set it here. And here I want to set the background color to let's say yellow and I want to set the text color to black. Okay. And I'll also use it here. And now here I want to set the background color to black and I want to keep the text color as white. With this, if we save the changes, if we go to the web page, and if I open the detail of any one of these products, you see, this is how it looks. So now, using the input property of the directives, we can dynamically set the value for the background color and the color property of the host element. In this example, we have three host elements. The first host element is this span element, the second host element is this span, and the third host element is this pen. So for each of these host elements, we are setting the background color and the text color dynamically by binding the directive properties. I hope this point is clear. Now, the next question which will come to your mind is when we were using the attribute directives like ng style or ng class, there we were assigning the value directly to the directive. So in our case, the directive is this set background. And this back color and this text color are the properties of that directive. So when we used ng class or ng style, for example, when we use this ng class directive, first of all, we binded it within square brackets like this, like we are doing for these properties. And then to that, we assigned some value. So this ng class is the directive, it is not a property. So when we use this ng class directive, there we directly assign some value to the directive itself and not to its properties in the same way what i want is instead of assigning values to this background color property and text color property i want to assign values to this set background directive itself just like how we are using ng class directive in the same way i want to use this set background directive how can we do that well that is a special case where when you have only one property to which you want to assign the value dynamically then you can do that for example, let's say this background color is the main property of this directive class. So what we want is whenever we assign some value to the selector of that directive, that value should be assigned to this background color property. For that, what we can do is to this input element, we can pass an argument and in there we can specify an alias for this back color property. And for the alias, we will pass the same name as the directive selector. So here the selector is set background. So we are going to specify an alias for this back color property and that alias is going to be same as the selector for this set background directive. So now instead of binding this back color property, now we need to bind set background property because we have specified this set background as an alias for this back color property. So now we cannot bind this back color property. If we do that, we will get an error. Now we need to use its alias for doing the property binding. And in this case, the alias is set background. So here you see, we already have an error and it says can't bind to back color since it is not a known property. That's because now Angular is not able to recognize what this back color property is because for this back color property, we have specified an alias and what alias we have specified. We have specified its alias as set background. So we can use it something like this. And if you notice this alias name and this directive name, they both are same. So now I don't need to use these directive selectors explicitly. Okay, I can simply go ahead and I can remove them like this. And it should still be working. So if you save the changes now, and if you go to the web page, now these values will be assigned to this back color property because this set background basically this set background it is an alias for this back color property so whatever value we are assigning here to the set background it is going to be assigned to this back color property so if you go to the web page and if i open the details of any one of these products you see it is still working the background color is still set here now let's see one more thing Let's say I do not want to set the background color on the first pen. So let me remove it from here. I only want to set the text color. 
but you see that as soon as we remove that set background we are getting an error and it says cannot bind to text color since it is not a known property of span now why is that that's because this text color is a property of set background directive so if you want to bind this text color property on this span on this span first we need to use that directive when we have removed that directive from this span angular is not going to look for this property inside this directive okay it is looking for this property it is thinking that this property it is a dome property for this span element now when we use that directive here so let me copy this set background and let me specify it here now angular knows that it needs to check for this text color property inside this set background directive so this is another very important point to remember so now since we are not binding this set background we are basically not assigning any value to this back color property in that case this default value will be used so if you go to the web page now for that span element now the default value should be used but you see that is not the case here that's because when we have used this set background here without using square brackets here we are basically using this property because this set background here it is an alias for this back color property so there we are using this back color property implicitly and to that we have not assigned any value that's why we are not seeing anything in the web page for that span but if we go ahead and if we bind it like this and now if you don't specify any value and go to the web page now it should be working so now the default value is being used here for the background color okay now one more thing which you need to keep in mind is that let's say we have a property in the directive class and the same property also exists on the dome element for example let's say in our set background directive i have an input property called title let's say it is going to be of type string and initially i'll set it with a string value let's say my title and that's also decorated with at input decorator okay now let's say we are going to bind this title property on this span element for that i'll use a set of square brackets in there i will specify the title property and i'll assign it with some value maybe example title okay and it should be within quotes like this so how will angular know whether it has to assign the title property of this directive class with that value or it has to assign the title property of this span element in the dom with this value because this span element also have a title property right and the directive which we are using on this span element this set background that also has a title property so how will angular know that the value which we are assigning to this title this title property which we are trying to bind here which title property is this whether it is the title property of this set background directive or it is the title property of this span element well angular actually figures it out now how does it figure it out basically whenever on an html element we are using a directive it will always check the binded properties on that element first in the directive so in this case angular will first look for this title property in the directive class in here it will find that title property so it will go ahead and it will assign this title property with the value which we are assigning here okay but let's say this directive does not have a title property so let me go ahead and let me remove it from here in that case also first angular will look for this title property in the directive class here in the directive class it will not find any title property then it will look for that title property on the underlying dom element in this case the underlying dom element will be this span element so it will check if the span element has a property called title and if it has that property then it is going to assign this value to that title property i hope it is clear so let me go ahead and let me remove this title property from here it was just for demonstration and we also don't need this ng class so i'll also remove it from here all right so on this span element we are using this set background directive and to this set background directive if we want 
we can assign some value like we are doing here and here in that case that value will be assigned to background color property but if we don't assign any value in that case the default value which is this value will be used now here we can only bind one property by wrapping the directive name within square brackets but what i want is when i wrap the directive name within square brackets i want to use it to bind both back color property and the text color property but we cannot bind two properties like this because we cannot have same alias for two different properties okay so what we will do is we will create a single property so let me go ahead and let me create a property and let me call this property maybe change text and back color you can name this property anything but i just wanted to give it a meaningful name and this property is going to be of type anonymous object and in that object i want to have two properties i want to have a back color property it is going to be of type string and i also want to have a text color property and it is also going to be of type string okay so the type of this change text and back color property is an anonymous object and that object is going to have a back color property and a text color property let's go ahead and let's decorate this property with at input decorator and for this property let's go ahead and let's specify an alias name and this time the alias name is going to be same as the directive selector name so the alias name here is going to be set background like this and let me go ahead and let me comment these two properties from here okay and here we can say this dot change text and back color dot back color property and here we can say this dot change text and back color dot text color okay now let's go to product detail component dot html and in there we can simply remove this property because now we don't have any text color property anymore in our directive and to this what we can do is we can assign some TypeScript expression and in that expression we are going to create an object basically here we want to assign an object to this set background and in that object we are going to have a back color property so let's go ahead and let's set that back color property to let's say red okay and we are also going to have text color property let's go ahead and let's set that text color property to white okay so now to this set background we can assign an object like this and in that object we should set the value for back color property and the text color property let's go ahead and let's do the same thing on other two spans also okay here let's say i want to set the background color to black and text color to white here i want to set the background color to blue and text color to again white let's save the changes let's go to the web page let's open one of the products and you see it is still working so now just like how we use ng style and ng class directive in the same way now we are also using this set background directive so the directive name is set background and we are doing the property binding for that set background directive by wrapping the directive name within square brackets like this and to that we need to assign an object and in that object we should set the back color property and the text color property all right so this is all from this lecture in this lecture we learned how we can bind a directive property from the component this is all from this lecture if you have any questions then feel free to ask it thank you for listening and have a great day